Hello, YouTube, and welcome to APCS Shorts. It's a new series for my APCS or AP Computer Science class in high school. Um, first, let's talk about what this isn't. This is not a live recording from class, like my, most of my recordings. So hopefully, they'll be shorter and to the point. Just a summary, a daily summary or a weekly summary of what we've done after the fact. So maybe one program each day or a few programs at the end of each week, that sort of thing. Um, also, what aren't we doing? We're not talking about stuff that went on before Hello World. We're going to start with Hello World. Uh, what goes on before Hello World is uh, you at home or your instructor at school sets up uh, the operating system. I use uh, Ubuntu Linux at Ubuntu.com on your computer. And then we also download and install the JDK, the Java Developers uh, Toolkit. And uh, which includes Java and Java C and uh, Java Doc and Applet Viewer and several utilities. Uh, if you need a tutorial on how to do that kind of stuff, you really need to have that running before you, you can uh, follow along. I'm sure you can find something like that uh, somewhere on YouTube as well. Okay, so what are we doing? Well, the first day we just talked about Hello World. Now, Hello World is the smallest, shortest, easiest program you're ever going to write in Java just so that you get the f a feel of how to do it and also to make sure that everything's running and installed right. Okay, so um, I'm also not going to get into how do you log into your system, because everyone sets it up different. Um, how do you log in from school? How do you log in from home? Uh, we have a, a Shush server set up. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, but students can log in from home, from Windows, using a, uh, a terminal, a, a text-based or ASCII terminal called PuTTY. Uh, my students at home that have Mac can use the Mac terminal just like they do here because Mac is based on Linux. And some students even installed uh, Ubuntu Linux at home. And it doesn't have to be Ubuntu. We've used all kinds of uh, Linux. We've used Canopix. We've used Slackware. We've used Red Hat or Fedora and so forth. Anyway, so let's get started. So I'm going to pretend I'm logging in from home. And all you get is a terminal. Whoops, not that one. Let me get rid of that one. That's the YouTube. Uh, screencaster. Um, let me make a new one. Okay, so take a look. So if you log in from home, all you get is a very basic terminal, okay? And depending on how you log in, you might be able to do some GUI stuff. Um, right now, I'm not going to worry about that. So how do you uh, write Hello World? Well, first you log in, whatever you do, and then you go into a folder that you set up for this class. Okay, so LS is list. CD is change directory. And here I have, um, actually, I would like to start fresh. Let me start with a different folder. What do I have here? I have APCS shorts. Perfect. OK. So, so you log in, and you make a, f uh, make a directory. So, so mkdir APCS shorts, or whatever you want to call it. OK? I did that already. I'm not doing that again. Then CD that. Then if you ls, there's nothing there. Good. Now I'm going to. Just write hello world, OK? So now, if you're on PuTTY, you really can't use a GUI editor. But all you need is a text-based editor anyway. So I'm going to use nano. And I'm going to write hello one dot Java. That's it. Simple. All right, so let's cut to the chase. Very simple. Every class you write has to start public class name of the class, which is hello one, which is also the name of the file. And when we make our own classes from scratch, our constructor names will match, the class names will match the file names. OK, so here's the contents of that class. Now, each class or each project that you write has to have a main class that has at least one method called main. And here it is, public, that was just a tab, static, void, main, um, open parentheses, string, array, args, close parentheses, and then I need another open brace, another close brace, and then tab, tab. OK. And um, this is what I call literal input. Literal input. In other words, the input is in the, in the line. You're not asking the user to type an in input. We'll talk about that in Hello World too. And let's just print out to the rest of the world, hello, right? So system dot out dot print line. Hello world. That's it. 
Simplest program you're ever going to write. All it does is a print line, hello, done. What is print line? It prints the, this string exactly as it appears on the, on the output screen, on the console screen, uh, or command line, and it, then it, pr it goes to the next line and gives you a prompt, okay? Now, in nano, all you have to do is control O to save. Here you can change the names to, like a save as or not, and then control X to exit. Now, if you list, dash L, long, you get the file that you wrote, okay? I wrote it on September 27th at 1.33 p.m. This is a Friday. Now, this is the end of the third week of school. Um, I didn't get around to doing these shorts until now. Uh, this was from the first week of school. So first week of school was Hello World stuff. Second week of school was Chapter 1, Lab 1, um, just a lot of, a lot, similar to Hello World, but a lot of print line stuff. And now this week we're in Lab 2, we're using objects, objects, object-based programming. In other words, writing programs that use classes that already exist. We're not writing our own classes yet. Now, how do you run this thing? Well, you write Java C, hello one.java, and then you Java it, and you're done. That's it. Simple. Now, if you clear that and you ls-l now, notice you have two files. Java C creates a .class file and that class file is interpreted by Java. Java is an interpreter, Java C is a translator. We're translating, um, we're tra translating the code that you wrote, this, which is almost in English, to Java bytecode. Java bytecode is transferable. It's, uh, it's what did they say, write once, uh, run many. It's a worm, it's like a worm code. Write once, run many. Um, which means you write it this way, you translate it for your particular interpreter, and then you run it with an interpreter that uh, that's, uh, supports your hardware. And uh, so Java C is the interpreter and Java, uh, Java C is the translator and Java is the interpreter. And you'll get to know there's a lot of acronyms running around. Uh, we just used one. Let's see, let's talk about some acronyms. Uh, we talked about write once, read many. In other words, Java code is uh, portable, easily portable. Uh, we also talked the first week about uh, what's an ASCII editor. That's what we're using now. Uh, ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange, for which there's a 8-bit code or 1-byte code for every keystroke. Now, on a standard keyboard, there's at most 128 keys. Um, if if you take a look at the, the number of combinations of 8 bits, that's really 256. The other 128 uh, ASCII codes are what are called the upper half ASCII, are special characters like accents and char special characters and dollar signs, well not dollar signs, um, pound symbols and crazy, uh, uh, what do they call it, curses, graphics, which are just um, lines that are used to create graphics and and we didn't really get into all of that, but we don't. We're using a, an ASCII editor, but right nowadays uh, people use Unicode. What's Unicode? Unicode is a combination of just about every uh, keyboard set out there. Uh, I guess one for Spain, one for France, one for China, one for whatever. And so the Unicode, I think, is two bytes per keystroke. Uh, incorporates every single keyboard you can talk about. This is the American standard code for information interchange. That would be the American keyboard. Um, what else did we talk about? We are talking about GUIs, graphical user interfaces. We're not going to do much with GUIs. Um, in GUI world, we talk about WYSIWYG. WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get, sort of like what you do in Windows when you write a document in Word and you print it. It looks exactly the same on the screen as it does on paper. Um, Linux is more CLI-based, command line interface. Based and that's more we I can never say this we we win <laughs> okay uh, let's see what you write is what you mean uh, very often you're going to write uh, code that represents something I would say graphical and you can't see what it does until it gets interpreted so what you write is what you mean is the code and that's what you focus on usually in this in the CLI or command line interface. Um, I guess we could talk about other acronyms um, at another time. Oh, we also talked about the JDK, just a little bit here. JDK includes the Java Developers Toolkit. Uh, is different from the JRE. 
JRE, the Java runtime environment, is what you install, say, in a browser to run a Java applet. Uh, we also talked about Java can do uh, console or text-based program, ASCII-based programming, which is what we're going to focus on. It could do GUI programming, it can do applet programming for the web. Uh, it can do all kinds of crazy stuff with uh, Java. Uh, the JDK includes uh, Java, these utilities, Java, Java C, um, what else, uh, Java Doc, where you can document your code very easily as a web page if you write your comments uh, carefully. And we're going to talk about, talk about documentation soon, too. And Applet Viewer, which I'll get into briefly in Hello World 4. Okay, I think that's a good introduction for Hello World 1. I don't want to over, overload everybody. So let's see. We did, we did this, 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 we did this. We did this, we did this, we did this, we did this. Okay, we'll talk about more stuff, acronyms and Linux commands and whatnot to get around uh, next time. Um, by the way, the AP exam does not care how you do input and output, doesn't care how you set up your main class, that kind of stuff. You're really writing methods and classes, but all of the stuff you need to understand to be able to write and test your own code on your system. All right, so let me save this and exit out from that. And egg and minimum and whoops, sorry, exit from this and say goodbye YouTube. Have a nice day.